Welcome back to The Spiritual Insurance, where we explore the intersection of power, wisdom, and personal growth. Today, we delve into the final law of Robert Greene's iconic book, The 48 Laws of Power, Assume Formlessness. Imagine a master martial artist. They are fluid, adaptable, and unpredictable. Their opponent can never anticipate their next move, and their formlessness renders them almost invincible. This is the essence of law number 48. In the human power struggle, we often make the mistake of solidifying ourselves. We adopt rigid structures, predictable patterns, and unwavering opinions. This makes us vulnerable to attack. Our enemies can exploit our weaknesses and manipulate us by anticipating our next move. But what if we could be like water? Adapting to any container, flowing around obstacles, and taking any shape we need to overcome challenges? This is the power of formlessness. By not adhering to a single form, we become enigmatic and unpredictable. Our enemies cannot pin us down or exploit our vulnerabilities. We remain elusive, mysterious, and ultimately, more powerful. But how do we achieve this state of formlessness? Here are three key principles. 1. Embrace change, resist the urge to cling to fixed structures. Be open to new ideas, evolving circumstances, and unexpected opportunities. Remember, the only constant is change. 2. Cultivate flexibility, develop mental and emotional agility. Be able to adapt your thoughts, actions, and strategies to the ever-shifting dynamics of life. 3. Master the art of indeterminacy, learn to communicate without revealing your true intentions. Leave room for interpretation and ambiguity. This will keep your opponents off guard and ensure that they never fully understand you. By embracing formlessness, we become less vulnerable to manipulation and control. We gain the upper hand in the power game, not through brute force, but through our ability to adapt and flow with the currents of life. Now, the concept of formlessness may seem contradictory to the pursuit of spiritual growth. After all, isn't spiritual growth about solidifying our core values and principles? Not necessarily. True spiritual growth is not about becoming rigid and dogmatic. It's about becoming more flexible, compassionate, and adaptable to the diverse tapestry of human experience. It's about embracing the formlessness of our true nature, which is ultimately one with the ever-changing flow of the universe. So, as you walk your spiritual path, remember, assume formlessness. Be like water, flowing effortlessly around obstacles, embracing change, and remaining forever unpredictable. In doing so, you will unlock a wellspring of power and wisdom that will serve you well on your journey. This is the spiritual insurance, reminding you that power is not about control, but about the ability to adapt and evolve. Thank you for tuning in.